Now, do people influence you? Do you think that we might be end products of a lot of that? What if the instruction, well-intentioned that it might have been, was wrong? Have you ever thought of that? Some of you in here had great talent, but maybe your sister or your brother that preceded you had a little more. And maybe your parents, when you were trying to become you, may have said, meaning well, please, your sister's the singer. And you stopped singing. What a shame. Did you have a choice? You didn't know back then you had a choice, but you do know today. Maybe back then you were reacting to everybody that's bigger than you when you were a little kid. Everybody that's older than you is sort of God to you. Uncles and aunts, when they speak when you're little kids, you can't wait to respond favorably, yes or no. What if they're giving you garbage? We were still listening, weren't we? You see, I started out as a young boy with polio. I was in an iron lung. The doctors told my mother, he's not going to live. And then when I lived, the doctors told my mother, he'll never walk again. Now, either I made it or I got a twin brother that's standing in place for me. <laughs> if you're a person waiting to be pumped up to change your life, you better grab a moment of inspiration, internalize it, and get some fire in your belly or it ain't going to happen. Nothing's going to change. The only winner in the game is going to be the time on the clock. You're not going to win. Change is inevitable. Adjustment to change is inevitable. So I went on, and how many of you were laughed at when you were kids? Made fun of. Come on, let's own it. We've all had some of it, some more than others. Well, let me tell you something. How would you like to be my height, about this big around, I've compensated well, and you're going to school with braces on your legs, and kids are laughing at you, making fun of you? See, there's a choice there, isn't there? The choice is, I could have decided to become what they were telling me, or I could dig somehow inside and say, I'm not letting them define me. You know what? That's a choice you better make from this day forward. Because I'm going to tell you your number one enemy. We've all had the same enemy from day one. Your number one enemy is the eyes, the words, and opinions of others about you. It's been controlling you all your life. You never discover who you are. You never discover your own unique miracle, the power you really have to shape your life. But you're going to have to change your thinking to do it. If your life isn't working, edit your thoughts. You had thoughts of unworkability. You, had, you were asking for things you didn't deserve. You were justifying things that were lies. You were making excuses that weren't true. You were blaming people that you shouldn't have been blaming. And that's our human condition. But getting away from it and getting out of it is possible. But we need to know what we're in and tell the truth about it. Two things. Two things you're going to have to give up if you want to really prosper, have a happy and successful life. So I'm going to give you a remedy. This remedy will work 100% of the time if you'll do it. Forgive anybody and everybody who ever did anything to you that was harmful to you with no need for justification or kind response for the forgiveness. And here's why. You can't give that gift away until you forgive yourself for all of your mistakes and say, my slate is clean. I've got today. Today is my life. What do I plan to do with it from this moment forward? That's the deal of life. We all have had mess ups. And then we're going to make a decision and a choice. We're going to turn left or we're going to turn right. And in that one choice can be a new destiny.